beautiful sunny morning here. Ah, I love it. I hope it's a sunny day, whether it's the morning the, or afternoon for you or evening. You know, it's been, it's been sunny late into the evening. So like, um, yeah, so I've been filming a lot of stuff over the past month. Um, I've gone to a few like art galleries. I've done a lot of art, like I made a bunch of new products, but Honestly, there's just so many clips and it's going to take me a really long time to edit, but it's a long weekend this weekend, so I'm going to edit and put all of those together. But in the meantime, I wanted to just show you um, another kind of like tutorial of, um, of this guy. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, you might have seen on my Instagram, it was pretty popular. Um, this is my tiger pillow. Yeah. Um, so I punched, I created this whole thing from scratch, so I punched needle at the tiger, I did, made the design, added the pom-poms, I set it all together and I stuffed it, so I just wanted to show you how I made that. I'll explain a little bit, um, how to punch needle. It's gone pretty popular, I really really like the texture, it's also just pretty like fun and relaxing to do. I do find it like kind of hard. In the beginning I, it wasn't really working out for me, I tried using like a very small punch needle to make like patches at one point and that really did not work for me um but once i adjusted and used the right cloth um and used the right punch needle it got a lot better yeah i would say that the thing about punch needle is like really having the right materials um you need to have monk's cloth it really doesn't work with other fabric um unfortunately monk's cloth is pretty expensive but i found that like it just it's the only thing that like really works uh actually i've got some of this cloth let me show you what i have and then i have um i used you see the one that i use in the video is actually different than the one i have it's a friend's that i borrowed um and those are very good i would recommend uh, i have one though that is adjustable in length which is kind of nice so you'll see that the length on like the beard the beard <laughs> tiger beard and on the background, it's a different height. Um, these are two different needles that I used so that one gets a very small, fine texture and one is big and loopier. So yeah, I'll show you my materials. But yeah, I think it really depends on getting the right materials and then kind of just getting the hang of it, of like how far to push in. Like you got to pull out very lightly, push in, pull out, um, and then... Yeah, anyway, you'll see when I do it, but that's how I created this buddy. Um, and then I also took the design and I made it into prints and pins as well. Uh, so, no, prints and stickers, so I will show you that. Uh, I'm really glad that the design was so popular. Okay, I'll show you. All right, so these are the materials. So you'll see this is monk's cloth. It has little gaps in between, and that's where you basically punch through with the needle. Um, yeah, so this was actually the first one that I did, and I used this needle. So what's nice about this one is that you can adjust the height, which just adjusts how fluffy it is. Um, yeah, I wanted to finish this and make this into like a little purse maybe, but I haven't made a <laughs> the other side. I wasn't sure if I was going to make another side or just do something plain, um, but you'll see. So when you punch... This would be like the side that you're punching. So you see this, and then on the other side, it's being poofy. Um, so for something like this, I switched back and forth um, to get the texture on the right side. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you how I created the design. So I drew this in Procreate. Um, it was pretty rough, but it really helped me to get the colors. Um, and figure out my pattern. So then I printed this and you'll see that I traced it over top of a window um, And yeah, it was really just rough in the beginning I actually went back like a couple weeks later and cleaned up the design to make it into a print and sticker
So I didn't actually film as I did most of it. I just took the pictures along the way. So let me just show you how I do it. So you want to really make sure that the fabric is tight. It needs to be really, really tight. Um, it's very difficult otherwise. And then I find like you just kind of need to find your right angle. Um, I find going from below and then punching up um, to be the easiest. And so I've got my thread like straight front. Um, it doesn't really work as well going diagonally or to the side. So I find just going straight forward and sometimes I do go straight back as well. Um, yeah, and then you can just see me doing it very, very fast, but you can see how slow I usually do it. So here you'll see that I made a mistake um, and the thread pulled out in this one section. It got caught on something. But rather than undoing it and repunching it, what I, the method I use is using a crochet hook. Um, so you can use any crochet hook, like this was smaller. Uh, but basically I'm just punching back up through, grabbing the thread and pulling it down so that I'm creating that little loop behind. So you've just got to watch how much you pull through. You don't want to just like pull the whole thing through. But just try to match the length of the punch. Um, yeah, I just kind of skipped ahead, but I did clean it up, and there was a couple other areas I cleaned up as well using this method. Um, so it works quite well. Yeah, I think I'm just showing how to punch up, grab, and then pull back through. Um, it can be a little bit tricky, but yeah, it's a great way to save your piece. done now so now I need to put my pillow together so the pom-poms I just had like leftovers from I think I just bought it one time when I worked at Michael's and then I bought this big piece of fabric um, and I'm just putting it on one thing I realized later is that I could have trimmed it more I think I actually do end up trimming it in the end um, so I didn't have to have so much fabric around the edge but I'm using the pin and going through the fabric through the pom-pom and through the punch needle fabric, just so that when I'm sewing, I'm making sure that I'm getting that pom-pom um, sewn in there. That was one thing I was a little worried about. I was like, wait, how do I attach this? Uh, so this is what I did. So I'm gonna do this all the way around the edge and then I'm gonna sew where my pins are.
So I've sewn as closely as possible as I could get to the edge of the punch needle. And now that it's all sewn, I've left one spot for myself and now I'm going to pull everything inside out. You see that I trimmed the edge, uh, so it didn't have to be quite as thick. And now I can pull it out. It was a bit of a struggle, not gonna lie. Um, make sure to get all those pom-poms out. Um, make sure to like fluff the corners. And yeah, it's all ready to go. So the next step is just to fill it up. friends i hope that was helpful um i hope you do some punch needling projects too it's really really fun it can be very relaxing when you get in the zone i usually like watch something or listen to something while i'm doing it um and yeah it's really really nice and really satisfying so i hope that you take on a project yourself um if you're going to i would say you need to order some monk's cloth and a needle you can get them off amazon and sometimes you can get kits on etsy um but yeah and i will see you next week with a full studio vlog which will show like more of like aside of just a tutorial but like other things that i've been doing and the art galleries and stuff so i look forward to seeing you then um you can shop that sticker and the print now on my etsy shop and yeah uh i think that's all so like and subscribe have a great day